we're doing something a little different here. We're not doing a solar array that completely faces south. We're going with a kind of uh, south southeast and south southwest uh, angle. And the reason for that is we want to catch a little bit more of the early earlier morning sun for energy. And then on this side, we'll catch more of the late afternoon sun. Um, because when you're, when your panels are just facing south, you're just, you're catching a lot, but it's all at around noon, right? Within a few hours of noon on both ends of the spectrum. So we wanted to be able to get a little bit more energy earlier in the morning, a little bit more energy later in the afternoon. So that's our reasoning for going with the V and you don't see that a lot. Natalie here worked really hard and got all of our scrap metal taken apart to where it's just the pieces of angle iron. And so now comes the process of where I'm going to take 12 sticks of these and weld them together to make them into steel tubing. And these are going to be our supports that go in the ground. So... I got a lot of welding to do. Okay, I'm about halfway through my first piece here and uh, my welder that I've had for 18 years um, something's uh, malfunctioning but the wire is not feeding through um, the gun quite well check it out all that wire that's my welding wire it is all bunched up in there so if I can get that out get the wire running through the gun again hopefully we'll be good to go now we see the problem there it is it seems pretty smooth Okay, my old Clark welder took it to town to try to see if I could replace the gun on it. And the guy's never even seen a welder like that before in his life. And he was a, an old timer too. So we got the, uh, can you see that? Pro Star by Praxair. Sounds pretty cool. It's actually lighter than mine. Um, I put the same wire in that was in my old one. It can MIG weld, tick weld, and arc weld. New welder's working pretty good. Penetrates a lot better than my old one. Always had a hard time getting enough heat to get a good bead going. oven. You ready for biscuits and gravy? Yeah. Mmm. Look at that. You excited? Mom, you get the big plate. <laughs> That's heavy.
All right, that's one down. Things are going much better now that I got the new welder going. This isn't your workstation, it's my workstation. Okay. Silly man. But where will I weld? I don't know. What's your, uh, what's your plan? Come here, show me. Come here. So, it's gonna be like... No, come here. They want to see what your project is. Like, it's about, like, this long. Alright. So it's going to be that wide? It's going to be this yeah. wide? Okay, what's, uh, you got pieces to weld in there? Yeah, I'm going to use one of those okay. to put in the middle. Right here? Why? What so are you making? Like about from here to... Oh, at the top? Yeah, like there to there. Okay, what are you making? So it's for my carrots that I'm going to grow. It's for your carrots that you're going to grow? Okay. It's a little late in the season for carrots, but... We can be get ready for next year. All right. Well, let's put it together. Ethan's first time welding. All right. So you can see out of that. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna put it right up to where you're gonna start welding. And once this flashes, you're, this is gonna turn black. So that all you see is the little light down here. Let's see. They're stuck together. He welded. He welded something, Kenzie. <laughs> I just need to get along that and then I can like yeah. start grinding this. <laughs> Check it out. Ethan's first weld. Man, that's almost as good as the pros. Don't you think? He says yes. Actually, I think you got a long way to go, but you're nine years old, and uh, pretty sure I wasn't welding at nine years old at all. I think when I, do you think you started welding? Uh, probably, well, definitely when I was a teenager sometime. Maybe 13. All right, go ahead. Hold on a second, don't do anything. I think you got it good enough. Let's see. A little messy. But you're welding, dude. How do you feel about your first welding experience? Is better than our dog. Yeah, right. River just ignores the whatever you throw.
Okay, that's square tubing number three. That took me an hour and 20 minutes for 20 feet. And I got a weld about every foot to foot and a half apart. I gotta say that new welder's working out pretty good. One of the things I, I wanted to show you guys is uh, how well um, our generator is doing. So we have been running the welder and the grinder. There was one point where we were running them at the same time. Ethan was grinding on his little project and I was welding. And not only that, so our, our cords ran out here to run that equipment from the generator, but there's a cord that goes to the trailer that is running, or I guess charging on Natalie's laptop. And, uh, and that doesn't draw very much current, but. It's the Predator, Predator 3500 watt inverter generator. It has done pretty well. We've had it for about two years. Let's see, the hours on it are 214. So, not a whole lot of hours. But, uh, I will say for a Harbor Freight generator, that's not doing too bad. That's fine. It'll burn in there. Yeah. All right, Master Welder, reveal yourself. <laughs> How old are you? Eleven. Eleven. And you're welding. When, how old were you when you first used a welder? Probably like eight. Probably eight? Really? I don't know. Maybe it was, huh? Yeah. We haven't we haven't welded too much, but but Logan is uh he's learning the trade. Good job, man. That was pretty cool. All right, let me know when you're done with this, okay? You, you gotta weld all the way to the end over here, okay? Okay. All right. Oh yeah, make sure to like and subscribe. Me? Yeah, you. Oh, well, of course I will. All right. That's number four.
just like that, we are ready to weld piece number five. And after five is number six, and we're gonna stop there. And then we're gonna start putting stuff in the ground. Exciting. All right, we have Logan's raft. What's that? It's a boat. <laughs> and a trailer. And we're gonna take it to the lake and try it out. And watch, we're all gonna watch him sink. <laughs> stay, stay in first. It'll do better than Ethan's Stay in first gear the whole way, okay? You're supposed to go slow with that. We'll hike over there and meet you. Go ahead. Hey, we forgot your fishing pole. Nine. Oh wait, there's no fish in here. Never mind. There's toads. 